I wanted to uh, record a video today, but I, I really didn't have anything to make, or I really didn't have the motivation until, until this happened. This is my only pair of glasses, and uh, these are like the $19 plastic frames from Walmart, so they're not special, but, you know, they're my only pair, and I don't have my prescription, so I can't just go order a pair off of Glasses USA or whatever right now, so I'm going to have to repair these. Now, I could do the nerd tape, but uh, I'm actually going to try to reinforce them a little bit, so let's let's do that. My current plan is to drill them out and use a brad nail uh, as a reinforcement and some super glue or maybe some epoxy to hold them all together. So I think if I can if I can get that guy in there, well, <laughs> I think if I can get that guy in there, then I'll get a chance of these actually staying together until I can get a new pair. They're about two years old anyway, so I need to go get a new prescription and a new set, so... This is my smallest drill bit. Seems to be about the right size. When I'm drilling these, the, the hard part is they don't have to be, like, perfectly drilled this way because the, I can put the metal in there bent, but I do need them to be perfectly drilled along this axis. Uh, so that the two mating halves meet back up. I will file them a little bit so that the glue can fill in, but I do need them to be somewhat even up and down. Um, this way, I'm not so worried about. So I'm going to drill, I'll drill the short side first and then we'll go from there. And since these are black on the front, you're not going to ever see that. Let's see if I can... You can see the, the little thing there. And my finish, or my brad... Uh, not a super tight fit. Maybe I'll cut off a nail or something. So now what I need to do is try my best to get the hole to line up vertically. So uh, I'm just going to have to eyeball it and hope for the best. I scribed a little line there to kind of give me a better shot at it. Ends up that's at the top, so I'm going to kind of put the drill bit just below that. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. I got a little bend in it now, so hopefully I can get better alignment, and I'm going to try some 5-minute epoxy, and I'm just going to try to hold it together by hand. I don't really know how else to do this. So I'm just going to cake epoxy on here, and um, let's see what I can do here. Try not to make a huge mess around the outside, because I can't really clean that up uh, easily where my nose goes and I don't want it to hurt, you know, I don't really care what they look like. Been about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna try and clean up the squeeze out here uh, where it goes on my nose. So that I don't have a, a ridge right there because that's gonna hurt. It's still a little bit gummy, which is a good thing actually for me. I 
it's it's cured enough that the glasses are staying together but it's also gummy enough that it's coming right off which is nice so maybe I won't have to put some uh, <laughs> some uh, hockey tape on here so I can look like a Revenge of the Nerds Poindexter is that his name? I think it was Poindexter had the white tape and those black glasses such a good look. Hopefully, the little nail that I stuck in there as reinforcement will will uh, hold everything together. If not, I will repeat the process. And a trick that you can do in plastic, if you have to do something like this, is if you take a finish nail that has this sort of uh, this sort of triangle tipped head you can cut the head of this off put this in a drill and this will drill plastic just friction you can and so then I would I would cut that hole to the exact diameter of this and shove it in there and then um, that would hold it better than just the the loose fitting epoxy staple method that I have going right now but hopefully hopefully it's strong enough for now I'll get his doctor's appointment set up this week, and I'll go get a new set of glasses. So, there we go. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, appreciate you guys.